Hey guys, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. I don't think we have anybody new who's dead. I think that's just a lie. That's just a lie. So, anyway guys, so in the last episode we defeated the evil dragon. And we made a bunch of money, so let's look at the upgrades we can get. So we can get the Troubadour. Okay, so pretty amazing. Um... Plus one to physical attacks next turn when you deal with them. Should we lose um, the r ranged ability that the rogue has, which is a pretty good ability, but... And I think he has a little bit less health. Oh no, he has more health. So... I thought they were supposed to have different amounts of health to make it more... To make it better to use the weaker class of the better, but... So that's the Troubadour. Spell Sword looks pretty good. There's the most holy Grail Knight that gets retribution. If you take three plus damage in turn, deal one magic damage, which is pretty amazing. Absolution, deal two, gain two, deal one, gain one. So it's like all health except for these ones. Deal two, take a damage, deal three, take a damage. Or plus three, now you have one. So I guess that's net two. But if you take an, I guess with these two is if you take an additional damage, Two more damage from it, you actually deal a damage. So I guess that's kind of the idea here. So you use that when you need to take an extra damage. So, but I don't know. I don't really like classes that deal damage to themselves. Cartographer. Damage is self discard is fine. I think this is damage is equal to cards in hand and you discard. Yeah, one damage per card in hand, discard four cards. So it's kind of like a last ditch effort thing. Card flick. One block per card in hand. Yeah, so. I th if you take two plus damage, you turn draw a card. I think that's pretty bad, actually. Like, <laughs> so these guys, they're interesting, but they're really bad. If your opponent has exactly double your health plus two magic damage. It has to be exactly though. So that's kind of crappy. Yeah. Gain health gain two is good. That's fine. This is really good when you can tell what attack your opponent is, which is usual. Block two gain one. But yeah, that's fine. But the ability is kind of meh. So. So, yeah, I don't really like. Like, the Troubadour is fine. But I'm not, like, really, really in love with any of these characters that much. But I guess most of these do magic damage. So. I think that's fine. We'll get the Troubadour. And my whole plan the whole time was to place all my better characters up here. Everyone loves a good song and some fun, but none as much as this little one. What a wise so old tune that it makes my ears sore. Yet this one is called a true Troubadour. So someone wanted the the name. I was singer on the big stage myself actually once. I had a hit single called um, "Tears for Dungeoneers." How did it go now? Oh yes. Uh, for... uh, anyway, that was then. <laughs> That's pretty funny actually. So someone wanted the name Chaos Remnant, so we'll go with that. And we can also get one more thing. I guess we can unlock the Weird and Wonderful now, but it, I guess that will stop us from getting the next thing, so we may as well unlock one of these first, but... The Weird and Wonderful is pretty cool, actually. Could have actually unlocked that instead of here, but... I guess my characters can actually use this bow now to get swift, or get ranged, sorry. Winged Fury Retribution. Still that thing where you can't read what those abilities are, which is kind of lame. Okay. Play three crush two. Ferocious crush one. I don't know what ferocious does. 
Fury. Fury so on a level one weapon. Oh my god. That is just ridiculous. Stupidity one swift three is pretty good. On a level one ability? Holy crap, these are crazy good. Armor two, Fury, on a level two. Eh, that was kinda meh. Armor three, fire two. Like it's a level three ability. It should have better stuff than that. Than just tenacious armor two swift one. But yeah, Arbor 3, Fire 2, amazing! All this stuff's pretty sweet. Coat of Thorns. Hmm. It's a level 3 epic one. I don't think it's that great. Trident is good for level 2. Holy 2, eh. I guess it's fine. Those aren't totally impressive. Oops, and that's the Artificer. I didn't, we didn't look at him yet. So, two damage on block, but a health, that's really good. That's really good, that's really good, that's really good. One damage per damage taking this turn, that's really good. And that's really good. Holy shit! Why did I buy the Troubadour? I didn't even know that was a choice. That guy is amazing. But we'll play at the Troubadour a bit. See, he looks pretty good, but holy crap, I didn't even know this was an option. He's amazing. He probably is the best character in the game. Never finds common loot. Has all of these awesome abilities. Like, these are just... That's not, like... that. The end of the world amazing, but all these are just amazing abilities. Gain two, gain a health. Get, do two, clone an enemy's card. Deal damage equals to the damage taken. So Pokemon can deal four damage to you. And the thing is, there's lots of those Fury cards that deal three, do one to them. So, they do three, take one, and you do three back. You did four to them, they did three to you. Like, it's amazing. This is so good. He's so amazing. We're gonna go with the Animative Adam that has all this amazing stuff here first. But yeah, that's freaking amazing. Deep underground in the Dwarfen Mines, be aware there are no warning signs. You could turn around and just walk away. And then live to fight another day. The golden sun iron is ours. This will wipe the smug off those smug ivory league smug faces. I don't why, know why they want this thing so much. It's hideous. It's got stupid eyes, a stupid nose, and stupid hair, and stupid hey hang on. What's this say on the bottom? It's like it was commissioned from the Dwarven Mining Conglomerate. I know the place is way up north. Why is ivory league going all the way up there for their ugly ornaments? Are they in a partnership? Is that why they have so much gold? Is that why I don't? Is there any... Is there a conspiracy? Is this gluten-free diet really help my digestion? I need answers, damn it! Seems it's time to hit them where it hurts. These squirrels can be sneaky with their clever contraptions. I guess let's have to be sneakier and cleverer and just send wave after wave to Dungeoneers. Yeah, that last one sounds good. So we unlock the Dwarven Mines. So we can disrupt the mining operation, defeat the Cyclops, or grab some piles of gold ore. Ah, uh, I want to just flip their mining first. And then I'll steal their gold. That will really dis disrupt them. So these are miners. We got an intruder, guys. Take them out. So I'm just getting miners. <laughs> Fury leader. Okay. So I don't actually want to place anything here. I'll just go and fight them. Because if I place one here, they'll get plus one. Fighting loot, toot de loot. Nice. Hmm? Beautiful, inspiring. I guess I could have put a miner back there, but that's fine. Recharge. I'm better off. Oh, wait. Anytime you do magic damage. So I'm better off just doing this, okay. Um. I 
guess I can just block it. Because that Serenji is going to have another recharge, so. Oh, it's Pummel. Oh, sorry, that's his discard pile. Silly, silly me. These guys are powerful for level 1 attackers. Now he gets Fury. But that's fine, because I have attacked quickly for 3. So yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, that's a pretty good character. For Fury. <laughs> like, that's so crazy. Fury on a level 1 ability. Minor. Like I said, just want to fight the miners one at a time. So they don't get their leader ability. Not that we're that much in thing, because naturally, what does he get? 3, 6, 9 health? Nats? Nat 9? Well, Ice Blast for uh, extra damage. Guess we'll use the Arcane Swipe then. Nothing else really we could do. Could have used Stupidity, which would have done absolutely nothing. Too much all other things have. <laughs> okay, now he's thrashing. And that's gonna be in trouble here if I don't be careful. Okay, good. That was closer, because I was kind of fiddling around with a lot of my stuff. But it's pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, guess we'll go with the wooden board. See, this is all common. That's all common stuff. But holy crap, are these mining strong? Strong, strong, strong. Like that recharge is pretty sweet. But the thing is, they all do, so I don't get advantage of using like my physical blocks or my leap ability. But so we got Pari. Power is super good though, block 2 do 2, like, that's so good. Let me just use this, gain an extra damage. And we can just kill him. With a quick attack. Like, Burly's. <laughs> I just can't believe how powerful these level 1 enemies are. Here's to you, young dungeoneer. You stood your ground and acted very brave. But how long before you feel the fear? And how long before you're in your grave? <laughs> so, yeah, just thinking. Like, it's... Yeah, it's good. Because I was going to say, like, does he have the blocking ability that the Troubadour has? Because the Troubadour has a lot of blocking ability with these two cards. But, yeah, he he can hold his own with those abilities. But. I do think he, the Troubadour now playing it is better. Deals a lot of extra damage with these cards. Like lots of extra damage. So he's powerful. I'm happy I chose him now. But at first glance the Troubadour looks amazing with the. Especially if there's a time constraint. He's just the be all end all. But a lot of these missions don't usually have too many time constraints. So. Once we get the 500, we will be buying this because it has some really good items in it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for coming out for more Guild Engineering. We'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later. And remember, if you want to be named in an episode, just put your name down in the comments, and I will be collecting them up, and you can be named in an episode. Thanks, guys. Later. <laughs>